Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel, Nursing Made Easy. In this video, we are going to discuss an interesting topic which comes under Unit 7, Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. The topic is Carl Pearson Correlation Coefficient. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Carl Pearson Correlation Coefficient. It is used to measure the degree of linear relationship between two variables. You are finding the relationship or correlation between two variables. It is denoted by small letter R. Let's see the formula as given by Carl Pearson for calculating correlation. R is equal to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar square divided into square root of sigma y minus y bar square. So, I repeat the formula R is equal to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar square into square root of sigma y minus y bar square. So, this is nothing but what it is means it is nothing but standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y formula. Okay. So, where x bar means that is mean of x variable. Y bar is mean of y variable. So, x bar means it is nothing but mean of x variable and y bar means mean of y variable. So, this is the formula for calculating correlation coefficient as given by Carl Pearson. So, let us see how we can apply this formula for yes, example sums. See, I have given an example. Find the correlation between birth rate and death rate for the following data. So, birth rate is 24, 26, 32, 33, 35, 30. Death rate is 15, 20, 22, 24, 27, 24. So, they will give only birth rate and death rate. You have to take any one as x and the other variable as y. So, they will not give x, y like that. Sometimes they will be giving directly x, y without mentioning birth rate, death rate like that. So, here they have given only birth rate and death rate but for your understanding which we have to take birth rate you can take as x variable and death rate you can take as y variable. Okay, let us find the mean of x and y. First is x bar. How to calculate x bar? So, x bar calculation is what? So, what is the formula? Sigma x divided by n is the formula. So, here how we have to do summation of x that is sigma x can be calculated by adding all the x variable points. So, you have to calculate 24 plus 26 plus 32 plus 33 plus 35 plus 30 divided by how many variables, how many items are there? n is equal to 6. So, you have to divide it by 6. So, 180 divided by 6 is equal to 30. Similarly, what is y bar? y bar is equal to sigma y divided by n. So, again all the y variable points you have to add it and you have to divide it by n. So, again n is 6 and you add everything in the y what and all comes 15 plus 20 plus 22 plus 24 plus 27 plus 24. So, when you are adding you will be getting 132. So, divide 132 by n that is 6. So, you will be getting 22. So, now you have find the mean of x that is x bar and mean of y which is y bar. Okay. Next what you have to do see here x variables put in a tabular column y variables also you listed now you have to calculate x minus x bar so x minus x bar so what is x bar in this sum so x bar is 30 so 
you have to minus x minus x bar is 30. So, x value minus x bar which is 30. So, first what you have to see 24 minus 30. So, 24 minus 30 is how much? Minus 6. Next, 26 minus 30 is equal to minus 4. Then, 30 minus uh, sorry, 32 minus 30 is equal to plus 2. Then, 33 minus 30 is equal to plus 3. Then, 35 minus 30 is equal to plus 5. Then, 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. So, here all the x values you have to minus with. You have to minus with x bar. What is the value of x bar? Value of x bar, we have already find out the mean. No, so it is 30. Next, moving on to y minus y bar. What is y bar value? Yes, y bar value is 22. So, what you have to do? Each y value, you have to subtract it from 22. So, 15 minus 22 is minus 7. 20 minus 22 is minus 2. 22 minus 22 is 0. 24 minus 22 is 2. 27 minus 22 is 5. 24 minus 22 is 2. So, now we have calculated x minus x bar value and y minus y bar value. Next to what we have to do? We have to multiply x minus x bar and into y minus y bar. So, x minus x bar value you have to multiply into y minus y bar value. So, first what you have to do? Minus 6 into minus 7. What minus 6 minus into minus plus 6 7 are 42. So the answer is 42. Next is what you have to do minus 4 into minus 2. 4 into 2 is 8. Minus into minus is plus. So plus 8. Next is 2 into 0. 2 into 0 anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So 0. Next 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is 6. 5 into 5 is 25. Next 0 into 2 is 0. Okay. Then add everything. X minus X bar into Y minus Y bar. If you are adding, you will be getting 81. So, sigma X minus X bar into y minus y bar is equal to 81. Okay. So, next, what is the next step? You have to find out x minus x bar square. So, what you have to do? You have to find x minus x bar values. You got no minus 6, minus 4, 2, 3, 5, 0. So, square it Okay, so square it. So what? 6 square. 6 square how much? 36. Minus 4 square how much? 16. 2 square how much? 4. 3 square? 9. 5 square? 25. 0 square? 0. So, add everything. So, if you are adding everything, you will be getting sigma x minus x bar square is equal to 90. Okay. Next, we have to find out y minus y bar square. 7 square how much? 49. 2 square? 4. I am telling minus 7 minus 2 because minus into minus plus. So, I am telling minus 7 square is also 49. Minus 2 square is 4. Then 0 square? 0. 2 square? 4. 5 square? 25. 2 square? 4. 
then again you have to add everything so when you are adding everything you will be getting sigma y minus y bar square which is equal to 86 okay so now you have find out sigma x minus x bar square into y minus y bar is equal sorry sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar is equal to 81 sigma x minus x bar square is 90 next sigma y minus y bar square is 86 so you got all the values so now you have to substitute these values in the table okay substitute the values in the formula so what we have got already we have got a sigma x minus x bar how much it is sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar is 81 okay we have got um standard deviation you have to find so here the uh, sigma x minus x bar square how much it is 90 so 90 next y minus y bar square it is square root of 86 okay next so you have to substitute so as i already told substitute r is equal to 81 divided by square root of 90 into square root of 86 so you can put a common square root 81 divided by square root of 90 into 86 again 81 divided by square root of 90 into 86 is nothing but 7740 so uh, what is the square root of 7740 that is 7740 is 87.94 okay so divide 81 divided by 87.98 87.98 87 so our value is 0.92 so when you are dividing you are getting the value as 0.92 okay so your r value is 0.92 so in this way you have to find out correlation coefficient uh, or coefficient correlation by using call pearson method so there are so many formulas but don't get confused so this is the basic formula apply this formula and do it so that you will get it correctly and so that is this uh, answer shows that there is a high degree of correlation between birth rate and death rate because our value is 0 0.92 so there is a question for viewers calculate the correlation coefficient between age and weight of the children using call pearson correlation coefficient okay calculate the correlation between age and weight of the children using call pearson method so it is very simple sum only i have given so that it is easy for you to practice that age in years 1 2 3 4 5 weight in kg it is 3 4 6 7 12 so calculate it and post your answers in comment session my previous videos link I have given in description box and the playlist link also I have given for nursing research and statistics. You can watch most of the topics I have covered and I have posted in the playlist nursing research and statistics. Hope this video is clear for you all. If still you have any doubts, feel free to post your doubts in comment section. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. In my next video, I will be posting on um, Spearman's rank correlation. Thank you friends.